hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so today's video is about acca that is association of chartered certified accountants which is a global accountancy body and is originated and originated in uk that is united kingdom so guys today i'm going to address certain questions which i have been receiving over my contact details which i have provided in my youtube channel over the linkedin over my whatsapp and instagram that where uh, you guys are asking about certain generic questions okay so today i'm going to address all of those questions so first of all why one should do acca so in this video i'm going to address five questions the first one being the scope of acca in india as well as around the world okay and then i'm going to address the question of eligibility of getting into the acca program and then i'm going to address the question of uh, cost of acca the exemptions which you get in acca and then last question would be about the exam structure like what is the exam structure how many exams split it into what and how to prepare for them so let's get started okay so for the first question that is about the scope of acca in india and around the world first of all guys there is a lot of debate going on where uh, people are comparing indian ca with acca so for your information there are many indian cas qualified cas around the job market in the country who have done ca as well as acca so there is a reason for that right they are not uh, ignorant people that they will do any qualification just for the sake of it so there is something which is adding the value to them that's the reason they spend that money and did acca even after being ca qualified so what's that reason that reason is the ifrs okay now ifrs are the international financial reporting standards which are being followed globally okay so whatever we do in indian ca is about indian accounting standards but in acca you are not learning about the uk accounting standards that is the uk gap or you are not learning about certain national standards no you are doing you are mastering the ifrs so you are an ifrs specialist once you have qualified acca so there is an edge there is an added advantage of doing acca after ca or just doing acca so those of you who need international career okay first of all so acca has a great scope for you even in india the big fours the kpos the international banks the mncs they do they do employ accas because we have that certain skill set where we have practical insight so when we go through this curriculum of acca program we do uh, learn about the case studies where we develop that practical insight skill where we have that uh, skill set which the acca approved employers even there are a lot of improved employers from acca and they do prefer acc qualified members or affiliates because they think that we have that capability so yeah so if you are acc qualified you do have a great future don't worry about that and uh, don't you know think about the stuff like there are no jobs in the job market so in any field you are no one will come to your door and give you the job you have to be proactive you have to keep an eye on the job openings and you have to build a good linkedin uh, what do you say connections and you have to have the you know knowledge about the job market so you you need to be proactive regarding that and you should be uh, getting in touch with the industry experts via linkedin so that is about the job market and what is this what is the starting salary once you are acca qualified uh, the starting salary is for an acca member it starts from 7 to 8 lakhs inr per annum and that's a great salary that's something equal to indian ca or even sometimes more than that so uh, that's not an issue secondly uh, about the students who want to immigrate okay who wants to go to some other countries like canada australia and they always question this thing that is acc recognized there so for example the most famous country to immigrate for indians is canada so yeah acc is recognized there acc has a uh, recognition over 180 countries around the world and uh, if you have done acc you can actually 
get it converted into CPA Canada or CPA Australia and you just need to give an overview of uh, Canadian tax and law or Australian tax and law where you have to also have you should also have a bachelor's degree so bachelor degree is accompanied with ACCA qualification and then an overview of Canadian tax and law and you are CPA Canada so that's that's the normal process and it's recognized that is what we mean when we say that it is recognized around 180 countries in the world so ACCA has a lot of lot of scope and uh, it is one of the oldest accountancy bodies in the world where uh, it was established in 1904 so we can't doubt its prestige and uh, we can't doubt its scope in india or around the world right so let's move to the second question which i have to address today that is the about the eligibility so guys eligibility for getting into acca is just your 10th grade and you should have your 10th mark sheet or whatever and you can get into acca just after your 10th and i did it myself after 10th so there are two routes after 10th that is one is fia route that is foundations in accountancy and another is the cat route okay so when i opt for the cat route i have to give more than the 13 exams of acca so I don't suggest that uh, unless you want more of the knowledge or you are not sure about your basic knowledge regarding accountancy. So I opted for the FIA route that is foundations in accountancy where I had to give just 13 exams. Uh, there is this diploma where I gave three exams in the name of the diploma but they were actually the first three exams of ACCA. So when I got entered into the ACCA program I got them exempted. So that was a simple thing so you can get into ACCA just after your 10th right and if you want to qualify your ACC after your 12th that is you want to start it after your 12th grade uh, that is also possible you just need uh, your 12th mark sheet where you should have 65 percent or plus in your English and 65 percent or plus in your maths or accountancy so if you were a science student you must not have uh, studied accountancy so you must have studied maths so therefore you will need 65% in maths if you were a commerce student then you need 65% in accountancy so that is the simple criteria and then for the graduates you can also do uh, ACCA so now I'm going to address the question of exemptions so we do get a lot of exemptions uh, from the ACCA Institute starting from the graduates uh, so you get exemptions from the first four exams of ACCA and if you are what do you say if you are a uh, qualified CA IPCC if you have qualified your IPCC of Indian CA that is you qualified CA intermediate and then you get the exemption from the six exams of ACCA so you have to just give seven more exams and uh, then if you are CA finalist okay if you're CA finalist and you're stuck in one of your groups or something like that so and you have 40 marks or above in your PM that is performance management FM financial management and financial reporting that is FR if you have 40 marks or plus in these three subjects then you are exempt from the nine exams of ACCA and you have to just give the four exams the four professional level exams of ACCA so similarly if you are CA qualified member and uh, you have qualified CA so you can also you also get the exemptions of nine exams and you just have to give the four exams so that is the exemption criteria I talked about the scope I talked about the eligibility the exemption criteria now things about cost of ACC okay so cost of ACC is I can't just calculate it because it will vary from person to person uh, how many exemptions you are getting or uh, what is the you know uh, exchange rate so th there are various factors which plays role in the uh, cost so I am sharing one uh, site link of ACCA where you can find the GBP value grow the Great Britain pound value of all the fees you have to pay starting from registration exemption fee exam sitting fee ethics and professional module fee so whatever fee you have to pay that I have uh, shared this link and you can see like how this looks like and calculate it according to your scenario and how many papers you will be giving how many you will get the exemptions for so based on that you can calculate it but if I have to give a rough idea uh, so it is around 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs where I'm not including the uh, coaching fee or I'm not including the uh, study material fee I'm just including the fee which is to be given 
to ACCA. So that is around 1.5 or 1.5 lakhs INR and uh, yeah so that is about the cost and let's discuss about the last question which we have that is the um, exam structure. Now in the exam structure you have 13 exams if you don't get any exemptions which is divided into three levels. The first level is the knowledge level that includes four exams that is F1, F2, F3 and F4 where you have to give on demand computer based exams which are for two hours and you get the result there and then immediately right so on demand meaning that you just have to call your uh, center and ask them to schedule an exam for you and you have to give it according to your own convenience and you can uh, plan it yourself but then in the applied skills level that is the second level that starts from f5 and ends at f9 you have to give the exams according to a date sheet and exams take place quarterly so you have to give it according to that date sheet and uh, there is no grouping system okay so there is no grouping system whereby i have to you know uh, if i fail one exam then i have to give all the exams that i gave in that attempt and then i have to pass the whole exam set again no if you fail one exam just give that one exam and the next quarter and then if I talk about the third level that is the professional level uh, there you get four exams of professional level which happen quarterly and uh, they are all subjective there are no MCQs in them and also there is this thing uh, where now they are planning to make the professional level exams also computer based because the knowledge and the applied skill is now compulsorily computer based and professional level is voluntarily computer based but now they are starting with uh, compulsory computer based exams very soon and uh, there is just a weight of the you know the fact that when they announced this thing and now the com uh, professional level exams will also get started on the computer. So this was about the exam structure and uh, now uh, again I will discuss about certain additional points like uh, the BSc which you get from the Oxford Brookes University that you get after you have qualified your 9 exams and uh, you uh, have to get opted into the BSc program and uh, so they there is a certain rules about BSc that how they mark you and how to get opted so on that I will make a different video and then there is also an option of getting uh, the MSc the Masters in Science uh, in Professional Accountancy from the University of London and that also you can opt for even uh, after ACCA or when you have qualified 9 exams of ACCA plus the SBL and the SBR. So after the 11 exams you can opt for the MSc so that is also a complex procedure on which I will be making a new video and I am myself pursuing the, that masters and I am pursuing it to the pathway 2 where I am already an ACC affiliate and I will be pursuing for the masters. So I hope this video answers most of your questions and uh, please do let me know if there is any more query or any more topic in which you want me to make a video and I will be more than happy to help you guys and uh, I have given my contact details you can contact me in case of any doubts any personalized uh, situations stuff like that and uh, yeah so please do uh, like share and subscribe this video I hope that this was helpful thank you